What did they do to you, Jerry? Poor Baba. What did they do, Mummy? Did they fix you? You need to you need to have a big rest. She's a spice girl. Good girl, Jerry. You're a good girl. Come here, Mama. Come on. Eh, Joya, Sandro. Come here, Jerry. Robbie. Jerry, Robbie. She looks a bit spaced out. Jerry. You get sore, Jerry. I know, Mama. Hey, you little one, hey? You got sick, Jerry. Now you're getting better. Yes, I know, you're sick. You got tired and you got sore. Yes, mum. Little tippy tail. You get sore. You gotta eat, Jerry. Come on, Jerry, eat. <laughs> Hasn't eaten in four days. Yeah, we gotta eat on me. When you get better, we'll do another ultrasound and we'll have a look at you to see if it's all good. Then you get your energy back and then you start eating. Yeah, we go this way. We go for a little photo walk. Yes, we go for a photo walk. Where are you going? Yeah, we go for a photo walk. We'll go for a photo walk. Why are you running, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry, you calm down, Jerry. You cheeky bum. Hey, you scratch him. Mm. Yes, you have a big stretch, Jerry. Hey, you tickle, tickle girl. Uh, <laughs> you schmackaroo. Hey, are you ready to go for a big walk? Hmm? Your very first big walk. Show me. What happened, Bubby? What happened, Mama? Poor Jerry. You got the big boo boo. You had a big boo boo, Jerry. Oh, you schmackaroo. <laughs> you, Jerry, you're good. Hey, you uh, mutter, mm, you big mugger mugger. Hey, hey. <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing? You got to get up now. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jerry, you're so funny. Hey, you have a big stretch, Jerry. Oh, you got a tippy tail. Uh, a tippy, tippy, tippy tail. G'day, how you going? So, what a month, eh? <laughs> it's been a month since Jerry went into hospital. Uh, sorry, two weeks, really. It's been a month for the whole shenanigans of what's been going on. Hey, Jerry. But as you can see, <laughs> Jerry pulled through the operation. So, uh, they took out um, a bit of the liver which they said it's all right, it's not that much. Um, they're gonna grow back and they took out the entire spleen. <laughs> Jerry, they took out your entire spleen for crying out loud. But apparently you don't need your spleen. Hmm? Did you know that, Jerry? Yeah. The main part was the cancerous bit in the uh, small intestine. It's called the ileus sac or something like that, I don't know. But it's the bit between the bit that joins from the small intestine to the large intestine, and it's got a little valve there, and that little valve kind of stops shit going back up. But because of the traction of the 
the intestines, the food always goes that way anyway to the bum. Hey Jerry, bum bum. Yeah, they cut all that out. Now for two weeks, it's just been, it's just, yeah, she hasn't eaten. She, she hasn't eaten, she didn't eat for 11 days for crying out loud. And uh, so I was freaking out a bit. Hey Jerry, mm, why don't you eat Jerry? Mm. So anyway, she's slowly starting to eat again now. Uh, I was giving her food from my hand, so that was good. They basically said from now on, you've just got to have a high fiber diet so she can solidify her poo, because she does diarrhea still. I oh, mean, the first two weeks, she's only now starting to get a little bit more harder poo in the morning, but it's always there. They said it's always going to be there, the diarrhea, because she's practically lost the bit where it absorbs all the food. Then he said, uh, unfortunately, he couldn't get it all out. He reckons there's bits of cancer kind of like on the walls and it's just impossible to resect that because there's too many arteries or veins or I don't know, some shit. But he said it's still there and what you got to do is you got to talk to the oncologist um, and talk about chemo maybe. So, mama. But anyway, I'm going to wait a bit because I just might wait a, you know, a couple of weeks just so she gets her strength back before we start thinking about that. I'm only going to think about it as well. Last time, two years ago, when she had cancer and they cut it out, they did chemo then and that was good. She never really uh, affected her, like it didn't cause any symptoms to, for her, the chemo. I think they said with chemo in uh, animals, in pets, they don't do it as hard. They don't go hardcore with the, all the chemicals and shit. Maybe I do it, maybe I don't. Because she's 13 and I don't want to put her through. That, those two weeks, uh, I tell you, she, she was just like looking at me going, what the hell did you do to me, Rob? Poor Jerry. Hey, you. Good girl, mama. Anyway, big, big, big thanks to everyone who was uh, supporting, commenting, even donating, you know. <laughs> you didn't have to donate, I mean. But that's really appreciative anyway. People, you know, they're their best wishes to to Jerry hey Jerry eh, little one anyway so I've come back to Parramatta Park where it all started <laughs> and we'll now now finally the jacaranda has come out um, and we'll take some photos of jacaranda anyway so that's the day one it's just I get angry, I get sad, I, it's just it's too much, it's overwhelming, it really is overwhelming. It, it, just seeing her in pain like that, she shivers a lot, but kind of all dogs do that anyway, I think it's just the pain. I can't get the Panadol into her. I tried the hole down your throat, it just doesn't work, I can't do it. I just get frustrated, I can't do it. Jerry! You gotta, you gotta help me. Anyway, it's just, we just need time, I guess. You know, there's no. What can you do? You can't. Well, we gave her the best chance, so uh, I keep going from my head. Why the hell did I do this? Like she was all right, but the cancer was there, and. <sighs> Then you think to yourself, well, she was all right. Like, maybe they would have just not grown or... But the diarrhea was there, so it was growing there, right on the bit. It's the bloody, of all the places, it's the stupid, you know... It's the area where it's affecting her, her diet. Jerry, it's okay, you can sit down, Jerry, it's all right. I don't know. Anyway, she came home last night. You now today, she ate a little bit of steak. So, but then she just went outside and just ate all liquid. I can't give her the the fiber, the pumpkin, and the and the probiotic. I don't know how to get it into her without eating. Jerry, you want to go outside? Come on, we'll go outside. Uh, her bum is red raw and it's just really hard 
So after the fifth day, they just said, oh, maybe she'll eat at home. So I took her out because it's like a thousand bucks a day to stay there. I know, it's pretty ridiculous. But that, I mean, I don't care about that. Jerry, you got the sore bum, bloody fly. Jerry, I'll save you. So she's drinking all right. Jerry, you like the water? Yes, I know, you're thirsty. Uh, just not eating. So it's a bit of a catch 22, I guess, because she has to eat to get strong so then we can feed her lots of fiber to absorb all the food so it doesn't have to come out liquidy diarrhea uh, pumpkin sweet potato chicken i just i've moved everything downstairs i've set up a bed here her bed's there hey jerry we sleep downstairs now just so she can have access to quickly go outside because what's happening every five minutes, you know, or every half hour, she has to go outside and she she has she thinks she has to go to the toilet. She can't go and then whatever comes out just dribbles out and it's poo. So I've got to get a little uh, water bottle and I just spray the water all over it to clean her just so she doesn't get red raw with the diarrhea on the bum. Too much information, Jerry? Mm? Yes. Mm? You don't want to you don't want to hear about it, Jerry. Anyway, that's day 1. Last night I didn't sleep. I I slept here. It's been 5, it's been 6 days without a real big meal. They were feeding her there like but she was not through the like just liquid or shit. I don't know with antibiotics. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But <sighs> Jerry. Anyway, she made it through the operation, which is the main thing. If I'd known it was going to be like this, Jerry, maybe it just takes time. That's all. Because you're older, it just takes a bit more time. But you got to eat, Jerry. Remember, you got to eat. You're hungry. Yeah. You want some chacha? And you want the chicken? And the rice? Yeah. And I put some pumpkin too. You don't want it? You want to go for a walk? <laughs> ah, Jerry, you still got it. You still got lots of diarrhea and everything, so I know that probably never go away. Because uh, it's kind of like a one way valve. So there's always risk of bacteria coming back up and I don't know. Anyway, uh, she came out last Tuesday. So it's been a week at home now and uh, she just hasn't eaten. She didn't eat for the five days she was there in hospital and now she really hasn't been eating much. But today she's kind of started to getting her appetite back. Now I have been hand feeding her and I mean, even the first, you know, day or two, I was just putting a little bit on my mouth and, you know, giving her food like that. <laughs> Jerry, you're a little birdie, just to kind of tease her into eating, but she just didn't want to have any part of it. She ate a little bit, but I was just so scared that I wanted to, you know, just feed her anything like, biscuits and just to get her some energy and even the doctor said you know yeah if you want to give her I gave her some raw meat which I shouldn't really because remember she needs to be on a high fiber diet you cheeky bum you sleeping Jerry Oi. you sleepy <laughs> hey, Jerry has a little stretch. Right now, it's a coupon code I gave you. You can get it for 160. So when I put my camera on here, let's see, I got one with a plate on it. Jerry, you hungry? 
You want to go? This is this is virtually eye level, isn't it? Harry, right. you want to go for a walk? Five foot eight. I can tighten it just enough so that I can still move the camera around, but this is this is pretty tall, <laughs> right? And that's what I like about this. Hey, you cheeky bum! Gary, oi, are you all better now, Papa? Yes, I'm a good girl. Hmm? You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Hmm? How's your tum tum? Hmm? But much better now? Yes, I know, Jerry. You feel better now. You got to eat more, Jerry. Though you're not eating enough. Hmm? You're having a little bit of cha cha in the morning, and you got to have lots of bran and lots of fibre. Do you understand? Yeah? Otherwise, your poo ends up all runny. Yes, I know you don't like the big caca. Cherry. All right. We've got to think of where we can go for a big walk or a little walk. Where do you want to go for a big walk or a little walk? We'll go for a little walk. And where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the park? Or do you want to go to the forest? Where do you think? You tell me where you want to go. We'll go take some photos. Huh? Yes. <laughs> ah, Jerry. You're a strong one. Good girl. So the operation was successful, I guess, um, in the sense where they got, um, they got it all out except for the bits and pieces. He, the doctor was kind of like saying it was all sticky and hard to get to and it was around all the corners and I don't know. But I'm, I'm hoping that it's just one of those things where it's really, really, really slow growing type and a bit of chemo here maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I mean, she's 13 so I just want to give her quality, you know, now. I think I bought some time, you know, but it's not always about time, it's, it's also about uh, quality. And that way, you know, we can, we can get the best. So, I mean, it's amazing, it really is. It's just incredible. Jerry, it really is incredible uh, how she just turned around, you know, within a week, within a couple of days. Hey Jerry, you really turned around mama. Yes, I know. I think she does get a little bit tired now when we go for walks. That's why I'm just doing little walks around the park, uh, close to the car, uh, close to water. I, bring, I bought a water bottle. So, so yeah, it has been pretty stressful. I mean, everyone has a dog uh, and it, we all go through this. It's just that I live with Jerry uh, and that's it and she's my only uh, companion type, you know what I mean? So we live together and yeah, we, we've we never um, been apart for 13 years, ever. <laughs> I don't think I ever, yeah. Gary, you've never, I think she went away once for about a day. But yeah, that's how close we are and <laughs> It's pretty sad actually. Jerry, is that a sad indictment of my life? Anyway, I don't care. Jerry's, Jerry's my girl and we do everything together. So, and that's why I did it. <laughs> that's why most people probably wouldn't have done it at her age. They probably just would have let it take the course of action, you know, the course, and hopefully that it wouldn't spread. But I, the doctor said, yeah, go. she's 13. She's pretty healthy still. And let's just see what happens. Anyway, enough jibber jabbering. That's me caught up. Like I said, big thanks to everyone. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect, uh, especially Rob Trek for being a real uh, strong supporter. He's kind of like, <laughs> he's got Ellie, so he understands the tra the drama of uh, if something like this happens. You know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, that's the 
the road to recovery. I'll keep you updated anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Jerry, you want to say goodbye? You say goodbye. Hmm? We got to the car and we go home and we have a little schmacko. Actually, you're not allowed to have schmacko, Jerry. I'll give you a, a, a healthy bit of steak. Hmm? And sweet potato. You like sweet potato? What about beans? That, that's full of fibre. Uh, sweet potato, pumpkin, chicken, rice. Uh, lots of good stuff, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody flies. Mm -hmm.